DJ Spade was doing an Instagram Live, Drake decided to try to shoot his shot with Rihanna by writing Rihanna drop R12 right now, which is making a reference to her Fenty foundation, to which Rihanna responded, give Drake some water, and everyone on the live went crazy. Rich people problems sometimes can be a bit silly. In an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kendall Jenner got very upset with her mother when she wanted to throw Kendall a big party in the Bahamas, and she found it embarrassing. Why would you tell Courtney that I'm having my birthday at the Bahamas? It's in the Bahamas. Mom, I'm not gonna do it. Do you not understand? I feel like maybe you're acting a little unappreciative. Probably. You're trying to make this bigger and bigger, and it's embarrassing me. You're just giving me this. Like, you're just handing it to me. I don't want it. At the Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Nicki Minaj was invited for an interview, and around the middle of the interview, she showed some remarkable lyrical skills, in maybe not the most PG way, but skillful regardless. Okay, I would say, I might Stephen after the show. He gonna come back to work with a magical glow, but... During an interview with Selena Gomez at The David Letterman Show, the host was telling her an anecdote about how he made Justin Bieber cry during a conversation. And that's when Selena added a savage remark. And I said something, and I made him cry. <laughs> well, then that makes two of us. <laughs> during an interview with Jimmy Fallon, for a moment, Jimmy thought he really offended a guest, and maybe even a whole community. So he got really scared. And you can even see his career flash before his eyes. First time a drag queen has ever been put on the, uh, the cover A of drag queen? Oh, no. <laughs> a drag queen! I am the queen of drag! <laughs> A hilarious moment at a mattress store happened when Warren Buffett asked the workers to check the richest man in the world's credit. Check this man's credit and see if he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Way back in the day, Kendall Jenner once tweeted, If Rihanna doesn't perform complicated tomorrow, I'm gonna be very upset. Hashtag favorite song. And Rihanna responded to that tweet by saying, Well, don't come. At the Jimmy Fallon show, Sean Evans was invited to host his show Hot Ones with Selena Gomez. And when they tried a sauce that literally made Jimmy Fallon bark out of pain, she responded, it's not that bad. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ah. I'm feeling something. I feel something. It's actually not bad. Really? We're not rocking it. Good. Really? Usually top class athletes are not using public transport, especially when they have a net worth of half a billion dollars. An interesting moment to watch was when LeBron James and some team members were super excited about taking the subway. And apparently one guy was giving him kind of an attitude, so LeBron kind of shaded him. What's question? What's question? I don't know this dude right here. He tripping. He <laughs> Hey, D Way. Hey, well, we on this train? Man, we out here, dog. Hey. We out here. Hey, we on this train. Yeah, we, now we got more room now. Look. Hey, Brown, chill out. <laughs> When Sofia Vergara was invited to Jimmy Fallon's show, they ended up talking about football, and Jimmy asked her about a quarterback, and Sofia couldn't pronounce his name at all. Roethlisberger. Ron Severi. Ron Severi. They also have... <laughs> a news reporter was doing an interview with Nicki Minaj when she learned that Nicki doesn't like getting compared to other artists, and asked the reporter why does she think she looks like Lady Gaga. When I turn the cameras around and ask you. Just the wigs and the... Wigs? Every female in this game, and every female in this game wears wigs. The over-the-top costume, you mean? Over-the-top costumes? Eh, try again. Gordon Ramsay isn't known for his patience. During an episode of Hell's Kitchen, he was starting to lose his patience with one of the waiters, and he finally lost it when the waiter said he couldn't understand a client because of the language barrier. Because the client was from... Texas. There's a language barrier there. What do you mean there's a language barrier? He's speaking English, you I know because he's from Texas. A good lesson to learn is that some people just don't like getting touched. Your hands crossed. Spoiler alert. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. Please. Um, there's other ones. There's... No, no, no. I, that, that was something Freddie did. Sneaker shopping with Complex is a very popular series on YouTube in which celebrities go on basically a Q&A while sneaker shopping very high-end shoes, with Canelo Alvarez even dropping 19000 in one trip. And well, when singer Billie Eilish was a guest on the show, all of a sudden she revealed to have a big dislike for Vans. That's why with the Vans, it's just like small dick energy. Yeah, I heard not a, not a big fan of Vans. I don't Vans. know what it is. <laughs> I've tried. I see somebody with Vans, I'm like, oh, they got a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> we talked, you know, we talked about... 
Kevin Hart has probably one of the most distinct voices and one of the best imitations done by an actor was when Breaking Bad actor Brian Cranston made an impeccable imitation of him coming to the set. Hey, everybody! There in! I! Why aren't you smiling? There in! Where's my puppy? It can be kind of annoying for celebrities when they ask them about someone who they dated in the past over and over, so sometimes they give very unenthusiastic responses to discourage interviewers from asking those questions. Billboard cover story, you opened up and talked about how Justin Bieber has had a big impact in your life, and I want to know, how would you say he's most influenced the person that you are today? I mean, I don't think anybody truly actually cares. Back when Fifth Harmony and its members weren't well known, they actually were an X Factor, and for some odd reason, singer Britney Spears didn't seem too keen on them, and even told them that she'll be surprised if they make it to the finals. I would be really surprised if you guys are here next week. And Britney's face when they announced they actually were going to the finals was priceless. Fifth Harmony! <laughs> During an interview, the host kept trying to get Taylor Swift to say that her song's style was about Harry Styles, and Taylor kept deflecting the questions, and the interviewer didn't seem to get the hint, so she shut the questions down in a perfect manner. Dean, look in his eye, long hair, slick back, white t-shirt. Is this autobiographical? Do you have that person? Like I said, everybody has that person. Does your person also sing? I want them to picture their ex-boyfriend. Not mine. A BET Awards, the host of the awards made a joke about Rihanna's song, B Better Get My Money, by saying that someone should give her her money. And well, coincidentally, next to her was Floyd Money Mayweather. Somebody give Rihanna her damn money! When Kris Jenner took some slabs of marble away from Kim Kardashian, Kim became kind of upset because the marble was hard to find. And she said to Kris she was going to charge her for the marble. And Kris didn't like that. The whole bathroom? Really? Really? Be, because you didn't have one slab be, of marble? No, no, no. We needed 10 and you took 10. I took six. In the United no, States, six. They it just is. sent me the invoice today. You took 10. You're charging me for the marble? Absolutely. This Rapper Snoop Dogg was discovered by Dr. Dre in the early 1990s. So he's been seeing trends in music for a while, and in an interview, he kind of mocked the new style of mumble rapping by imitating the popular group Migos. That's what's wrong right now. Everybody trying to rap the same style with the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Migos, but all them the sound the same. Sometimes we might overestimate a celebrity's relationship with another celebrity. When an interviewer was telling Rihanna about a royal wedding, Rihanna didn't seem to be aware of the event, and the interviewer was actually surprised that she wasn't invited. You're still on the internet, Mara. <laughs> so you weren't so, invited? I was hoping that we would hear Why Rihanna. would you think I'm invited? I don't know, you met him. <laughs> okay, you met me. You think you were coming to, come to my wedding? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Am I coming to yours? I mean, you'll get the invite. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> A very savage moment from Ariana Grande happened when Kanye West was kind of beefing with Drake on Twitter by saying that he wanted Drake to apologize for some things. Even though Drake wasn't responding, Kanye kept tweeting about the situation. And that's when Ariana tweeted, Guys, I know there are grown men arguing online right now, but Miley and I are dropping new songs tonight. So if you all could please just behave for a few hours so the girls can shine, that'd be so sick, thank you. When Mariah Carey was asked to say three nice things about Nicki Minaj, she gave an answer most people didn't expect. Three nice things about Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Can you? An interviewer was doing a piece on Tesla when she tried bringing up Elon Musk's competitor and how that is something that may make Tesla's value go down. And of course, Elon was fast to shut that down. They're ramping up production of their electric vehicles. Uh, Warren Buffett owns 10% stake in that. Uh, why do you laugh? Verity <laughs> is trying to compete. Why do you laugh? Have you seen that car? Sean Mendez was in a rap battle with Odell Beckham when Odell bragged about his relationship with Drake and Sean proceeded to obliterate Beckham. You brought up Drake because you lived in his house, but if he ever heard you rap, I'm sure he'd kick your ass out, man. The American school system has a reputation of lacking a bit on the geography department, even though some people argue that the reason for this is because the U.S. isn't surrounded by a lot of countries, compared to a country in Europe. But okay, a hilarious moment to watch was when a singer completely roasted Chelsea. I but love gloves, actually. Yeah, do I do, because you can never remember where all the countries are, so it's always fun to discover a new one. Yeah. You're like, I didn't know Nicaragua was right next to Costa Rica. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of Nicaragua? Yeah, because we schooled in England, so... <laughs>
When Rihanna won the CFDA Style Icon of the Year, during a speech, she explained how fashion used to be her defense mechanism and how she believed to have the best outfits. I remember thinking, she could beat me, but she cannot beat my outfit.